Hello guys, happy Saturday. I just went to a stretch reformer class and it was actually really fun. It was like super chill. Um, and I do feel better for getting out of bed and moving my body. Um, I just figured I would vlog today because I have probably had the worst couple of days. As you can tell by my eyes, they're like in a constant state of puffiness. I've just like had a bit of a sad time. I can't really elaborate on anything at the moment, um, but she's just a bit sad and I just feel like I'm going to be dragged for making this. Oh my gosh, she's attention seeking. And I'm going to be dragged for not making this. Oh my God, she is so closed off and unrelatable. Um, and I don't care. Honestly, if you don't want to watch this kind of content, I totally get it. Um, it's probably a little bit of a downer. However, I spent probably two hours last night on sad talk and it actually made me feel so not alone and like I don't know it was just comforting knowing that other people strangers on the internet are also just a bit sad sometimes <laughs> understatement of the year having Tim Tams for breakfast <sighs> I feel like if I have learned anything in my 25 years about sad situations, it is feel your feelings, but also don't dwell. So last night I went to the Sunset Cinemas with my girlfriend, Emily, and it was so much fun. And then I just came home and cried for an hour and watched TikToks. And then I finally went to sleep and that was great because I wasn't sad when I was asleep. <laughs> and then I woke up and I was like, well, fuck, here I am again. And um, I feel like today I need to, as much as I literally want to lie in bed all day and do nothing except cry and eat. <laughs> and I need to not do that because that is not serving me. I've already, I've had a cry every single day this week. What I need, what will make me actually feel better and will be serving my future self is to just do a little something. So I'm gonna clean up, tidy up my apartment, I'm going to vacuum my floors because that for some reason makes like a massive change to my mental illness like not having like gritty floors i hate gritty floors i also got a sephora package that arrived and it's my dry bar like blowout tool and i'm actually so excited to use that so i'm going to try that i'm going to put a little bit of makeup on because that's what makes me feel good and i'm going to lunch with one of my best friends monique to a place that i haven't been before and you guys know how much i love eating out so that is going to be great and then I desperately need to wash my car and also having a clean car is just like really good for my soul for some reason oh my god I'm getting a sore arm <laughs> and then my mum has been on holiday and she gets back at 4 30 and I've like been counting down the hours because I just want my mum and so I'm gonna go and see her tonight and just vibe and be sad that's about all. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're not sad. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the plan. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Yeah. And I still have all my plants that I bought um, from Ikea last weekend because I need to put up the shelves. And I've never done that before. I've never, never built anything, but I can do anything. There's nothing that I can't do. <laughs> Keep you posted. Okay, so I didn't really film much of me doing it the, with the tool, but I actually really like it. I think it's really easy to use, and I know you're supposed to use it on wet hair, um, but I'm not going to wash my hair again. Also, the dark toner is fading, so I'm like pretty much back blonde now. Um, but it like makes my hair, like I'm like feeling really soft, and I have super thin hair, so I'm going to take all the volume that I can get. I just rolled this front one. Oh, I don't know how that's going to go. Okay, she's volumized. I did spray this in my hair. It's the Redken Quick Blowout. It's linked to my Amazon shop front. Not sponsored, but I do love Redken. Um, okay, I do really like the, the product. Um, we've got lots of volume. Oh, I really like it. It looks like a blowout, right? Um, I'll also link the tool in my Amazon shop front. Um, I think it was like 250 Australian dollars, but I, it was really easy to use. Oh, yeah, it's dirty. Like, I have not washed this recently. Love. 
cute. Hi vlog. Sorry, I just completely forgot slash didn't feel like vlogging yesterday. So from when I left you, I went to lunch at Moscone and it was fantastic. I will put photos in because I didn't film, sorry. <laughs> and that was fantastic. And I literally just sat at Moscone with my girlfriend and just chatted for like over three hours. It was so good. And then I went and picked my mum up from the airport and just hung at her house with her and had some, we had Chinese and I had like honey chicken and lemon chicken and that was really nice and a cheeky little Sprite. And then I came home and then I went straight to bed and I've just woken up now and it's like 9.20. <laughs> I slept for over 12 hours, so that's fun. I have clean fresh sheets because I did the washing yesterday. I still have more washing to do today. Same as yesterday, I don't feel like doing anything. I am just like mentally, I don't want to do anything at all, um, but I'm going to do washing and I have a clean kitchen. So that's something. And I'm going to vacuum because so desperately I need to vacuum. And I cleaned the bathroom yesterday. I actually did so much housework yesterday, um, but my showers really need to be cleaned today. And I'm actually going to pop back over to my mom's house and wash my car because my car is filthy and I hate having a filthy car. And I think I have a little date this afternoon. I'm going to have to check. <laughs> um, and I'm going to wash my hair so I can like properly use my, my blow wave thing. And I'll try to be a better vlogger today. <laughs> I've done two loads of washing, I finished the vacuuming and I'm wearing like this really drabby, dusty old summer dress and I have my hair, my greasy hair pulled back in a bun and I'm going to wash my car, I'm wearing thongs <laughs> and I also need to drop off a couple of bags to Vinnie's which is like our charity shop and what else, I really want to get my nails done but I'm not really sure if I'll have time and I would like to stop by Sheridan and grab a new bed cover, like a duvet cover. Just because mine, like no matter how many times, like I wash it and like treat it with like whitening stuff, like it just has like some little fake tan stains and stuff. And I found out about this really good charity actually that like you can donate specifically like your old bedding stuff. So I thought that was really fun. So I'm gonna wash all my bedding and get that ready to donate and shop for a new duvet cover. I have this thing with like wet, white wet i have this thing with white bedding like i just i've tried to do beige and neutrals and pinks but like i just i'm obsessed with white bedding zero practicality but what can you do pick your battles i just love white bedding i'm just stopping at bunnings to see if they have any of that coconut i don't even know how to describe it but it's like brown stuff that you put in pots to make your plants look not fake so i'm gonna see if i can try and find some of that I secured the coconut stuff. I'll show you, I'll put it in when I get home. And Bunnings, obviously we had to get Bunnings snag. Sausage and bread, delicious. A national delicacy. Every time I come to my parents' house, my brother, and my brother's been here, he moves all of the kids' frames around. So his is always at the front in the middle. I'll show you. <laughs> that's him, obviously. Lol, that's me, that's me. So I'm just gonna obviously do the petty thing back. And this one too. Much better. I just cleaned my car. It was in a desperate need of a clean. Yes, this is this morning's coffee. I'm gonna go to look at some homewares with my mum. I'm gonna get some um, bedding. I need a new junior cover and also some tea towels. Look how clean she is. Girls can do anything. I just got home and had a shower and I'm feeling really good. I think it's really important when you're feeling a little bit sad to spend time with your family, obviously, or if you just feel like being alone, then just be alone, but just do what makes you happy. And this too shall pass. My hair's going a little bit crazy. I did wash it today 
and I have been trying to use the dry bar brush and I am convinced that it's making my hair like shinier and healthy looking, but that could just definitely be me. I'm starting Confess by Colleen Hoover. I am on a mission to read every single one of her books and I think I'm about a, a third of the way there. So hopefully this is good and it's about nine o'clock. So I'm going to go to bed soon and get ready for a new week. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one.